Have you ever wanted to know exactly how long it will take to charge your car battery, your marine battery, or any other 12 volt battery? You are in luck. I have some easy to use calculators. And what I basically did is I reverse engineered some of the Schumacher battery brand, uh, battery charging companies uh, charts that they have where they list batteries and cold cranking amps, uh, amp hours, or reserve capacity. I found a formula that hits all of their points and it's super simple once I got it all set up and it will take care of any of your needs, whether your battery is in any of those formats, cold cranking amps, reserve capacity, or amp hours. Let's head over to my website and I'll show you exactly what we got going on. So we're gonna go to homebatterybank.com slash calculator. So just type that into your browser. That will lead you here to my website. So thank you for visiting, there's me. And we will scroll down Let's say you have a car battery. Car batteries are mostly rated in cold cranking amps. So if you have something, let's say it's uh, 615 cold cranking amps, your amp hour equivalency, when it corresponds with the Schumacher charging data, the amp hour equivalency is gonna be about 66. So we can just copy this and take it down to the bottom. Time to charge a battery. Uh, paste that in and then let's say we take a multimeter and we hook it up to the battery and we find that the open voltage is um, let's say it's 11.23 and we have a charger that is a 7.5 amp charger our approximate charging time is going to be 10 hours uh, 0.17 so that gives you a really good ballpark estimate on uh, how long it's going to take to charge your battery. Of course, don't use it for critical applications. Every battery is going to be different, but depending on the age, the, um, the sulfation level, everything, the health of it. Um, so that's just for a car battery. Let's say you have a marine battery. They are usually rated in reserve capacity. So I, I have two formulas here. The top one is the one that I derived from the Schumacher uh, battery charging company's data. Um, let's say you have a reserve capacity of 185 minutes. It would have an amp hour equivalency for charging purposes, according to Schumacher, of about 108.54. So the same thing, you would just copy that, send it down to the bottom. If uh, you have a reserve capacity um, where the it'll give you the minutes, but the amps are not listed, then it's assumed to be 25, so use the top formula. If the amps are listed and they are something other than 25, the best we can do right now that I know of is to use Stephen Harris's uh, formula. He's the author of battery1234.com. Uh, and you would type in, let's say, let's say it is 120 minutes, but it's uh, 22 amps. The amp hour equivalency would be 44. That's the best that we can guess. So you would just take that down to the bottom as well. So really for this, you just need the multimeter or something to test the open voltage of your battery. You need to know how many uh, amps your charger is. And then whether you have the cold cranking amps, the reserve capacity, or you already know the amp hours, you just go right to the bottom after you get those numbers and plug in your data and it will set you up. If you don't have a multimeter, you can guess. Um, I have a little chart here where you can just say, I think my battery's probably half. It, you're, there's no way of knowing without a multimeter. But if it makes you feel better, you can say, well, then uh, plug in 12.1 for your open voltage. So again, not for critical applications, but it's going to be definitely ballpark. It hits all of the data points on the Schumacher uh, charts. And I uh, hope this helps. Once again, just go to homebatterybank.com slash calculator. And uh, I hope this works out for you. Have a great day, guys.